It's a community for adults with disabilities uh, that doesn't accept a penny of government subsidy. It relies on donations from private sector, tuition, and revenue from our enterprises, the largest of which is our horticulture program. This is uh, the emptiest you'll ever see our greenhouses as we try and clear things out before our poinsettia crop gets planted. We grow just about everything somebody would find at an independent nursery. Uh, what we can't grow because of space limitations we bring in. Um, if it's something that we propagate ourselves, that means we take cuttings and it gets rooted here. Um, our citizens do that, so that's the very beginning. They'll, they'll come and take cuttings from the plants in the greenhouse, uh, root them in our propagation greenhouse. And people should be able to find whatever they need here at Brookwood. Uh, our largest crop is our poinsettia crop, um, followed by geraniums, hibiscus, and patience. We put, we put in all kinds of flowers and plants up. Oh, we sometimes grow dianthus and uh, violas, and we sometimes grow ferns and hang baskets. I was sold on this place before I was hired uh, when they gave me a tour and I got to see the work that the citizens here are doing. I mean, I've, I, I've given tours to people within the industry, to other nurseries, um, who've left here in tears just moved by the mission of Brookwood see the profits go back to providing quality of life for, for people who wouldn't have it otherwise is like nothing else.